guys, and uh, welcome back to uh, Higurashi. Let's see. Whatever is going on, Mika never hit me normally this morning. Do you think so? Like acting strange? I don't know how to say it, but you seem much more mature today. Uh, Mika's being mature. Uh, and you didn't tease me today. You two said to go please don't mess around. I don't feel like it. How about a week kind of from today, huh? Stucco gave me a perplexed look. Maybe she thought I didn't feel well. I want to talk to Kichi and the others, including Satoko, but I don't know how or where to begin. We all like to joke around a lot, so they might not take me seriously. How can I get them to understand the danger of man? Good morning to you, Chisen Sayo. You're here as well, coach. Good morning to you, too. Good morning, Satoko. Chan and Kachan. Oh my, oh my. Is it a headband for mace that you're wearing? That's against the school regulations. You'll be punished. Dr. Ari, stop acting like that at school. <laughs> Coach, Rika doesn't seem to be feeling well this morning. Might you check her over, please? Oh, what's the matter? Did you catch a cold? I still don't want to tell my friends, but Ari at least is on our side. Maybe I could talk to him more directly. If I keep thinking about it, I'll still be thinking at the end of the day. Maybe I'll start with him, and you nodded as if saying that's a good idea. I don't know if I to this play a trick on Kichi and he sees to his chair. Oh, 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 please, it's a trap, not a trick. I'll teach you how to set up a trap for Kichi, son. Oh, oh, oh. took her into the classroom. Honey, you must have left on purpose. I have to use this chance she's given me. Ari, can I talk to you in the nurse's office? Sure, that's fine. Let's go there. Ari probably thinks I'm going to talk to him about... He never saw a syndrome, so he agreed to go somewhere people couldn't hear. If there's any chance of my physical condition, it could be a sign of something very serious, even if it's just a simple cold. Alright, it's a very concerned about my health. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you feeling sick? Alright, I'm going to tell you something an odd, but I want you to take it seriously. It's a very important matter. I give Ari the sternest look I've ever shown as I spoke. Ari usually acts like an idiot, but he can be an adult when he needs to be. Seeing the expression on my face, Ari started to look more grave himself. How do I start? Okay. Ari, I'm the Queen Carrier, right? Yes, the parasite that lives in your body is different from anyone else's. What happens if I die? Like I told you before, it's so terrible what happened. No, to be precise, we believe that the terrible will happen. After that, all, it's impossible to verify until you die. However, there are several cases involving social brain parasites similar. To those of the Nomosova syndrome have shown that the death of the Queen Carrier could cause mass suicides or riots. There will be the kind of frontier of expertise, so maybe you should ask her instead. I don't know how much about it myself. In other words, the Kano knows better than anybody that if I die, so the terrible will happen. More, ever, more than ever, I don't know why the Kano wants to kill me. There's no way I can figure it out myself. Ari is here with me right now. Maybe I'll know. I should ask him, Ari, please don't ask any questions, just answer. Would there be something to gain from killing me? What? Kill you? Because son, who would? Ari, you aren't supposed to ask any questions, remember? I'm oh, sorry. No, I can't think of any. There isn't anyone who would benefit from your death. I repeat, if it happens to the Queen Carrier, all affected persons will reach the terminal stage within 48 hours. That's what makes the symptoms so dangerous. The scale of the disaster will be far greater than any individual case of paranoia or psychosis. Would anyone profit from that disaster? No way, killing you was a tantamount to killing all 2,000 villagers. Nobody would consider that for a minute, even as a joke. Even if I die, all the residents of Phoenix will go insane and maybe even kill each other. What a perfect ending for people who are descended from demons, huh? Could that be what the Kano wants? Since she always talks about the dangerous and bizarre things, it's obviously she enjoys cruelty. She always talks about how she wants to witness with her own eyes the raw brutality. As a man eating demons she read about in the dark history of Onigafuchi village. It's possible that she wants me dead just all the villagers will develop terminal symptoms. Of course, this is in the worst case, so if something happens to you, there's an emergency measure we're supposed to follow. An emergency measure, I never saw anything like that. 
I never told you this before, it's a rather un unpleasant matter, so it's fine that I mention it. The Iron Institute's top priority is protecting the Queen Carrier. But if you die and all infected persons develop terminal symptoms, we're supposed to go ahead with this contingency plan. That's understandable if all two dozen villagers were to go insane. I mean, no guarantee that the decision will remain within the village. Obviously, it's a good idea to be prepared for the worst case scenario. There are these things called emergency manuals, and among them, the one for the worst possible disaster. In other words, it's the event of your death. It's called emergency manual 34. What happens with that? Before the villagers go insane, they'll be exterminated, to be exact. A special unit from the self defense force will seal off in MSL wet and kill the villagers using poisonous gas. I never heard of that before either. Sorry, I don't really like talking about it. I've been interested in things that happen before I die, but not in things that happen after I'm dead. This has to stir only takes place after I die. I had no idea that something like this occurs every single time, or rather, on the cause. If the enemy is capable of erasing an entire village and then killing a little girl like me, won't be a problem at all. Can you just tell? You just tell me to just talk everyone, but I can really stand against an opponent like that. Anyway, if the existence of this emergency manual changes everything, the colonel's motive no longer makes sense. I thought her goal was for all the villagers to go mad, slaughter each other like demons. But according to what I already said, that wouldn't even happen. The villagers will all be killed off before it does. I'm not the colonel, so I can't be for sure, but I don't think that would be fun for her. It doesn't make sense to kill me for that purpose, especially since we've known each other for such a long time. You think it's possible for Tarkano and the Mount Dogs to kill me? Don't be stupid, that's just impossible. Tarkano says number one priority is to protect you and then one of the Mount Dogs' main duties is to watch over you. That's simply unthinkable. Alright, even so, supposing Tarkano wanted to kill me, can you think of a motive for her doing so? No, I can't. She knows better than anybody about the dangers of the Queen Carrier. Besides, as well, you're well aware. She's very passionate about research into the Syndrome. Killing you will put an end to the source of her passion. But, Ari, the Messiah Syndrome is supposed to be eradicated within three years, isn't it? In other words, you're going to destroy the disease. Why does the Colonel think about that? Hmm. Well, the Messiah Syndrome is a target of treatment for me, but for the Colonel, it's a research material. Actually, she's strongly against the plan to eradicate it within three years, and she even made a trip to Tokyo to request an indefinite extension of the project from the board of directors. She wasn't successful, though, so you're saying is that the Colonel wants to continue her research. But he and Sensei was going to be eradicated in three years, so the Colonel is going to lose the subject of her research, isn't she? I guess you can say that. Oops. I think I can see something here. The Area Institute is in a small organization. It's being managed by a lot of people and receives a great deal of funding. That's the only way I could think. I mean, that's the only way they can do a research the syndrome. So if the Iron Institute is planning to put an end to the research within three years, there isn't really much the Colonel can do about it. If it's all going to end anyway, then maybe she wants to shake things up. No way, so I don't think that can possibly happen. But you know how she is, right? She would do it. She would kill me if she wanted to, don't you think? No way, no way. Something that's horrible, so it just is impossible. I feel like I'm starting to see the Colonel's motive, but it seems like there's much, must be more. After all, the project will continue to last our last at least three more years. It's possible that th during those three years, years the Colonel's request will be approved and the research will get extension. In other words, the research is guaranteed to continue for a minimum of three more years. Given those three years, why is she so desperate now? Besides, I always, I'm always killed in June 1983. The date may change a bit, but the month won't. That must be the result of her strong willpower. It would be one thing if the research was being terminated immediately. She still has three years, but yet but she's... Being desperate already, her motive is too weak. She must be possessed of the strong conviction that is to be June 1983. After that, no matter how I questioned her, he kept repeating that there was no way Takano would kill me. So I don't see how he could be of any more help. However, if I'm able to explain Takano's motive, then I think he'll be my ally. But for now, I think this is all I can do with him. I'm going to talk to Tomoteki too. Tomoteki is a lot closer to Tokyo than Nari is. Maybe he can tell me something Nari can't. I hope I can learn something important. 10 things from him, too, and have to convince me that the Colonel has a strong enough motive to kill me. Tomotaki should be visiting him or so around this time. He spends a lot with the Colonel, but he often takes walks by himself to enjoy photography and birds, too. I'll try finding him when he's out with the Colonel and talking to him then. Although Tomotaki does have strong feelings towards the Colonel, I'm worried he won't listen to me as seriously as I already did. Thank you very much. I'm going back to the classroom. If you find out something about the Colonel, please let me know.
Rika, so why do you think the Cardinals are trying to kill you? You haven't developed symptoms, have you? If you're doubting me, then would you like to run a test right now? I said some terrible things out of the blue, so I don't blame him for becoming suspicious. However, thanks to the rapid diagnostic test already I developed at this point, it was easy to prove the syringe. I just had to submit to that needle to show that I haven't developed terminal symptoms. The results were negative, of course. It's just impossible for Tacona Sun to. Just impossible. Maybe now I believe there's a possibility that Tacona is trying to kill me. I left the nurse's office. I hope Ari will grow curious about Tacona and try to find something out about her. So how was it, Rika? Do you find anything? Well, yes and no. It's hard to say, but there are a couple of interesting things. One is how Ari Institute is trying to eradicate the syndrome within three years. The Kano doesn't like the idea. She went to Tokyo to position or petition for the continuation of the research, but they refused. That might cause her to become desperate. The second thing is called Emergency Manual 34. Supposedly, if I die, they will be executed and the whole village will be murdered by poisonous gas. They say that when I die, the villagers will develop terminal symptoms, right? The first thing I thought, Takano wants to be dead because she wants to see that happen, but since there was such an emergency manual, the village will be gone long before then, so that can't be her motive. Every time I ask Ari, all he says is that's impossible. According to him, Takano understands the importance of the situation better than anybody, therefore, she doesn't have any reason to kill me. Oh, well, I know. I've well, only we asked Ari so far. It's possible we can learn more for information or wisdom from other people, too. That's right, unless we bring everyone's power together, a miracle won't occur. We need that miracle to defeat our enemies. It's almost lunchtime. That'll be a good chance to talk to everyone. Though, the problem is whether or not they'll take it seriously when I talk to them. Once they start talking about the secret society, Tokyo, well, all of a sudden you ask what manga I'm talking about. I need to figure out a good way to discuss this so I can avoid misunderstandings. Oh, I think it'll be better to be honest with them without really thinking too much about it. Do you really think so? Yes, let's try. So I'm in the way I'll teach you and I'll... I'm sure they'll take you seriously and help out. I'm so not sure, but Henny seems very confident. Henny has spent her life observing various people. She never talked to me directly before this life, but she knows her better than I do. I'll talk to everyone during lunchtime in the way that Henny taught me. I guess I'm going to take a few minute breather break. Okay, that's a good break. Um, hmm. That sure is interesting. And then... Oh, that's amazing, Rick. How do you come up with things like that? I mean, now you're so talented. If you work on a little more, you could end up with a really great manga. I don't know what to say. I thought maybe something was bothering you because you've been looking good since this morning. Why didn't you come to me first? See, I told you that you could count on them. I will count on them, huh? All it comes up to is how you put it, I guess. This old man could create application forms, make rough drags, ink, tell draw backgrounds, typeset, proofread, take manuscripts to a printer, publish, distribute, distribute and support. He can do it all. Mm -hmm, good thing you came to him. And, uh, you sure are great, Mion. He could be a cartoon artist, an editor, a publisher, and a bookstore owner all at once. Really? I made mean, that things like that, too. Is doing anything yourself in style now? Oh, I'm curious about what kind of comic me Chen would write. I'm curious. Hold on, hold on. You're all getting sidetracked. Let's help Rick out, all right? I told him about all the secrets surrounding him. So I told him that I wanted to write a comic book and that I needed to help to decide on a few things. If I spoke to them about this normally, they might question my synergy, but to see things change this dram dramatically, just a little free face. And yeah, you're pretty good. Anyway, so if this queen carrier dies, then the village will be destroyed because of some emergency measure. And that's the focus, right? My goodness, if there really was a someone like that, she better be very careful. One mistake, and poof, the whole village would disappear. We would just capture her, wrap her in a bubble wrap, and put her in storage or something. But she gets killed, right? If they know her death will create a disaster, why would they kill her? Why? That's just it. The bad people at the research center know it, that will happen, yet they're still trying to kill me. I mean, the queen carrier... I just can't think of a good explanation for why. I kind of see an outline of the motive, though. Can they actually find a hand without knowing any of the actual details? Wow, that's so simple. The fact that the entire village gets destroyed if the Queen Kira dies is, is a motive in itself. Meow laughed as she casually voiced what was going on in her mind. 
But me, uh, this villain wants to research the disease more, so there's no way she put an end to it herself. Ow. That's not a big problem. Just set some masterminds pulling the strings behind that villain. That or some villain who's just using that villain. A villain who wants to use Takano? Listen, if the queen dies, the villain just plunge into chaos to cover it up. A mass execution operation is carried out. Fundamentally, this is a countermeasure against the worst possible outcome. A trump card that must never be played. Because playing it creates or uh, causes a disaster of its own, even if it settles the previous situation. Hmm, you're right. In politics, they always talk about who takes responsibility for this and who rings or resigns for that. If, in fact, someone would have to explain that and take responsibility, well, it's a secret operation, so I'm sure it won't be made public. But there are many people questioned within the organi Tokyo organization, that's for sure. Isn't that a motive for killing the Queen Carrier? Oh, why? Who benefits from such chaos? There are plenty of people. Think about it. The wind blows always, always blows in one direction. For some people, it's a headwind. For others, it's a tailwind. There are always people who gain, people who lose. I see. Ho oh, ho. My brain finds that quite stimulating. In other words, if something like that happens, there will be. Some people who have to take responsibility for it, and the enemies will gain from it, where, whoever they are. And that's right, there are always different powers and factions within an organization, especially if it's a huge mastermind organization like this Tokyo. I'm sure many different people there have hidden agendas. In other words, there are plenty of people who want to rule over others, and there are plenty of reasons to assassinate the Queen Carrier. Are you seeing that? To, I mean, even if the per person doesn't have a reason, that there could be people who have reasons to kill the Queen Carrier in Tokyo. <laughs> there you go, you've got it. Also, what about this backstory for the bad person at the secret research center? She wants to keep her research going, but it's already been decided it'll end within three years, alright? So this researcher is about to see all our research turn or not. That means all the fruits of her last work are about to be ruined. And she's under extreme dur duress? Not only that, I think her pride must be hurt too. That's true. The value of the research this bad person has spent half of her life on isn't being acknowledged by the people at the top, and they even told her they'll be shut down for three years. That must be tough. It's hard when other people deny what, what you accomplished so hard to accomplish. Rika. Ah, yeah, I know. Amazing, my friends really are the best. This is starting to sound like a real one of it, Takano. Uh, so what would this bad person do then? Of course, the first thing she wanted to be able to do... Blah, 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 blah. Of course, the first thing she'd do would be to appeal to her boss. She probably would try to explain that, how Tokyo, how important and valuable her research is, and ask him not to shut it down. But, well, if Tokyo just said, yes, got it, continue your research, won't increase your budget too much, then it shouldn't be much of a comic. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so the bosses of Tokyo should turn a request down hard and thoroughly. They tell her that work is a waste of time and they should be scraped immediately or something like that. Alright, told me that the colonel had got to Tokyo to request an extension and research and nails. He also said that her request is denied. Oh, can you imagine her and Grit having her last work marked by her superiors? They are uh, only two options to her. So, Tokyo, what are they? That's easy. She can cry herself to sleep over or she could take revenge. Kichi and Satoko give each other a high five. Well, lying down, thinking it would be very, wouldn't be very interesting either. In that case, the fellow that's researcher who loved her research more than anything starts growing desperate and believing she would at least end it herself rather than let someone else end it for her. Oh, because of her pride. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and that's where the hidden agenda from Tokyo comes in. No, no way, you mean the idea that someone will gain when the village is throwing disaster and then those. You made that the idea that someone will gain when the village is thrown into disaster and others forced to take responsibility. Exactly. The villain as the researcher is depressed after having her life's work rejected, but by rolling her up in the right way that could cause a tragedy in the village without soiling their own hands. Then they could take their time investigating and demanding responsibility. Well done, see? That's right. He he <laughs> there's more. This villain is depressed after having her life's work rejected, right? So then once of the when one of the young leaders plotting to kick another member of the Tokyo down to climb the ladder 
dispatches his own agent to entice this villain. She's depressed because her reason for existing was trampled on, right? If someone tells her that he believes in her and says she'll fall for it easily, the stronger a person's pride is, the easier they fall for that kind of encouragement. That means that bad person is simply being used by your evil mastermind. Well, this happens a lot in action shows. You know, like how someone devotes his life to an evil organization, but after one mistake, he gets eliminated. But in other story, the researcher has to be eliminated for sure, right? For the masterminds, there's no point in laying her stick around. Yeah, that's right. So this poor bad person, she thinks she's gotten an evil little part to play, but at the end, her last work is insulted. She gets used by the masterminds, and after all that, she may get killed. Although she's a bad person, she people may sympathize with her for what she has to go through. But I guess that's what makes her story interesting, don't you think? Maybe we can use that in the next issue, and you and I can only listen to them talk. They are truly amazing. They really are. It's very possible, especially if you think about Takano's character, come to think of it, I already kept repeating that it's impossible a whole lot, which means that those words could be a reflection of how possible it really might be. I'm sure my friends can answer that question. I'm going to ask them, so let's ask them. Ow. Then why is she so desperate when she still has three years left? That doesn't matter. It really doesn't make a difference if you're getting executed tomorrow or three days later, right? It's just a matter of the length of a probation. This bad person doesn't feel that she has three years left. She feels like she's been sentenced to die in three years. That's just what the masterminds want. They're the ones controlling this bad person. I think it's the masterminds who want to destroy the village at this particular time, not the bad person. This is a huge operation. You now it has to succeed. The death of the queen carrier is like their only key to success. Whoever's at the top has to decide to go ahead with the emergency measure. The responsibility issue for the operation inside is to take care of things like preparation or rather they have to figure out the perfect time to do the muscle damage after calculating all that I think they're going to get on with the operation now and the project only has three years left so in the end after the bad person gets used she's eliminated she's the villain but I feel sorry for her I see oh well okay let me move on to the most important thing to defeat them how can the queen carrier girl fight back she's the main character in my story Huh, that sounds interesting. So the girls are trying to kill us to run from the evil person, right? It depends on how you serialize it. If you want a long, serious, continue with new pursuers and assassins one after another, we'll let you go on for a long time. Uh, if possible, we want a short-term and concentrated series. I burst out laughing at Henry's metaphor. Okay, then we just have to take care of the bad person quickly and shoot for a happy ending. It's more exciting to fight than to run. But the main character is just an ordinary little girl, right? How can she fight? <laughs> yeah, girls nowadays aren't powerless. She might appear to be a cute, weak girl, but she has secret hidden power. She's an S-ray conqueror with the blood of royalty, and her nickname is the Ebony Fallen Angel. Oh, that sounds like a lame original character of some middle schooler. Hey, Mion. What's wrong? Do you have a stomachache or something? <laughs> Fine, this old man's just not talented. Enough. Mion, you can do it. Though when you read the manga ten years from now, it may be so bitter you read in agony. I don't, know, I don't know exactly what Mion is trying to say, but anyway, the main character is a weak little girl. And she doesn't have any special weapons. If anything, she's good at acting innocent. She also... She's also mean and abuses me with spicy food. That sounds good. I'll try starting with that tonight. I don't know. I see, so she's just a regular girl, huh? But a story where a character like that beats a conspiracy is going to be difficult. No way, no way. It's impossible. She couldn't win without at least gathering a variety of weapons and the skills to operate a radio and a helicopter. Either that or a professional survivalist who underwent special forces training with the Soviets. That or someone as capable of causing confusion in their ranks with just a truck and a few weapons was turned to the jungle. I have a feeling that Mion is to talk over the main character's friends. They'd solve the problem right there. Huh? This old man? <laughs> sure, if he was a character, I'd change the whole story. My fighting techniques and leadership skills are unparalleled. Plus, if the story took place here in the village, my familiarity with the area is top notch, too. Besides, anyone who makes an enemy of Tatoko is good as dead. And I write, I don't know what kind of secret unit this bad person has, but they're nothing compared to my traps. 
If the main character and I barricaded ourselves in hills, no enemy could lay his finger on Earth. Yeah, if she has, if she holds a stucco in the hills behind us, and her assailants will need either a bombarder capable of crossing no thane or a Hanoi class heavy bomber at least. Even if they led with that before entering the mountain, they'd still take on several casualties. For them, might be coming in the operations. Well, her assailants better be prepared for casualties on part of the Iwo Jima landing. He hit right to Tucko. Oh, ho, 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 they better bring a nuclear warhead if they want to fight me in the hills. True, so Tucko will be amazing in the hills, but are you sure we can defeat the mountain? Uh, the bad person's helpers, they are professional. Professionals, you know. Surprise attacks and traps are effective against anyone. The Vietnam War is a good example. The U.S. Army, the most powerful military in the world, can stand up against the jungle. And while the two are traps set by someone who knows the area well, will go a very long way. Are you saying Satoko's traps would work on them too? Of course, not only that, they'd be very effective. The purpose of traps isn't just to ensnare their victims. They also make people extremely afraid. They're professionals, so they would be extra careful. Therefore, their commander will be indecisive, and he will have to decide whether to go into the hills or not. That means we gain one, uh, gain more time. <laughs> so they we need to at least bombard a bombardment to capture us. But this isn't a war, so they probably won't go that far. I definitely don't think that's possible. Anyway, Mian is a professional when it comes to the sun and on tactics, and she's saying that the typical chest will be more than effective even against the mountain dogs. That's very reassuring. The flip side of traps is uh, they can only be used to defend and take times to set them up. Also, traps don't discriminate, so it took a sales meet at all the requirements, though. That's true, nobody goes into the hills. It took those traps were already everywhere. The main characters can barricade ourselves in just by going in there. If I'm going to be there, it won't be just a simple barricade. I'm going to use it as a diversion to draw away the enemy's main force and then launch a surprise attack. Drawing the enemy deep and attacking from when their defenses are light and the, it's the rudimentary tactic for ambush and counterattack, repelling them at the Beachhead is the height of hard head hardness. Head hardness, whatever it said. Uh oh, Meech and Satako Chin is so cool. But how he, she, Khan, and I are left out. Then all of us will be the main characters. We'll all fight them off together. There you go, that's better. <laughs> now that we're all in it, let's look at the club members versus an evil organization, huh? <laughs> I don't know what kind of bad person this is, but I feel sorry for her and her friends. Though I don't know how powerful they are. <laughs> Fighting face to face is one thing, but if we use our knowledge of terrain, they have no chance of winning. If they want to defeat us here in Mazel, they'll need to bring an Overlord class army to bear. Though we'll fight off even that. <laughs> Me on laughed and everyone nodded along. Amazing that I'm starting to feel, I'm sort of think that if we try our best, we can defeat you and the Mountain Dogs. If we fight directly, we'll be taken down immediately, even if we use a surprise attack. But if we set traps and if we have enough of them, who knows? See, Rika, your friends are very reliable. You're right, I don't know why I never told them anything until now. Even if you can't do it alone, you can do it with your friends. Even if only a miracle can make it happen, if we all try our hardest, it can be done easily. That's what the miracle is. My heart's pounding. What is this emotion? I feel like nothing is impossible if I work together with them. And you told me that in a different world, they, they defeated the worst scenario of all, the one where Tepe comes home. I don't remember, but it tells me deep inside that the exact same kind of miracles about to happen in this world, too. M me and everyone else, too. We want a lot more ideas. How can we defeat this conspiracy? Please tell me a lot more. Oof. I'm gonna take me another uh another few minute break because it cuts my breath. If it lets me pause. Okay, that was a nice break. I don't need to ask for Tom and talking. But Ari had come with um Ari must be bothered by what I taught him this morning, but he can't come to a conclusion on his own, so he wants Tomato to listen to me too. After saying that, he wouldn't interrupt us. I already sat down a little distance away. I heard from Director Ari why are you suspicious of Dr. Takano's son. She knows better than anyone that your death will cause a disaster. 
decides to call on something that's been good to you and to chain, right? And to say this about her now, don't you think this is a little ungrateful? I expected this on Tomateke if the same if I was in the same mood as I was this morning, I probably wouldn't have continued, but having expected this, I'd be able to continue without getting upset. Tomotake, please be honest with me. I want you to really think about it, too. Of course, Dr. Takano wouldn't murder me under normal circumstances, but can you absolutely guarantee that she would never do so? What do you mean? Takano has divided her life through the research of the syndrome. Is that true? Yeah, just between you and me, she's your most important person at the institution. Dr. Ari's position just a formality, and Dr. Takano is the one who's really leading the research. This is supposed to be secret, but Syndrome was discovered by her grandfather. The Takano Center respects him greatly, and she opened the Ari Institute so she could continue and complete his research. So how does she feel now about being told that the project will be shutting down within three years? Takano even went to Tokyo to request an extension and boost denied, right? Couldn't you see the end that mean of her life itself is being denied? Don't you think she's hurt? Rika Chan, why did you hear all that? Tom took it was silent for a moment. He must have realized I'm not saying random things. And it's true that the kind of went silent to see the board of directors and that she was evaluated extremely poorly. And according to what I've heard, they really, really killed her work. She was told that the research project was a waste of money. She's been acting normally. Well, I think she was really hurt by it. Yeah, see? So how can you be so sure that this won't, she won't become desperate thinking that her research is going to be shut down anyway? No, no, not to call outside. That's impossible. That's the same thing that Ari said. He kept saying it's impossible, yet he couldn't deny it completely. He repeated the same phrase over and over to refute that possibility. In fact, even though we know Dr. Kano is the enemy, we can only guess at her motive. The only way to find out is to tie her down, make her confess. But there is a meaning to make it time to become suspicious of Takano. It's even important to do that so he'll become my ally. Of course, this is also a strategy device for a club leader. It's a rather scary thing to imagine, but the Cardinal Sound won't gain anything from your death. I don't can understand her becoming desperate, but she is self control. Time heals all wounds. Isn't it easier to deceive the heartbroken? Deceive? What do you mean? Tomotoki, if I die, it's a terrible app, and you're right. An emergency manual will be executed, and the whole village will be destroyed. Eh, eh, uh. uh. <laughs> is, is that right? I, I had no idea. Tom Tucker is as good covering his lies. And it shows that he's hiding, bad, he's bad at hiding things since he's eminently honest. Which makes him a nice person. Alright, told me already. I don't want to waste time, so let's be open about this. Okay, the emergency menu is the last resort. If it's actually executed, it'll be a disaster, right? Tom Tucker said to be wondering if she, if he should confirm the existence of the emergency manual. But the fact that Ari already told me about it, don't mind him being the Queen Carrier. I'm prompted in to confirm it out but hesitantly. Yeah, it will be disaster. It's not easy to raise an entire village. We'll have to cross several dangerous bridges. It's not humane, even if it becomes necessary. It's truly it'll be truly a disaster. I'll be straight with you. Someone will benefit from the situation. No way. There can't be. There won't be any gains. They'll develop into a hunt for blame and in the worst case the government might expand past Tokyo into the government. In which case, there's someone who will benefit from that commotion, isn't there? If the emergency manual is executed, there will be someone forced to sign off on it. Afterwards, they'll start an investigation to the people who allowed the situation to get to that point. To be specific, those in charge of organizing the Iron Institute won't those manipulators be forced to take the blame and be driven out of Tokyo? Hmm. I'm not sure. There's a limited number of posts. People are constantly vying for them, so there would be... Would it be strange if there was someone hoping to steal a seat by lighting a fuse on this dangerous bomb we call the emergency manual? They could remain hidden in a safe place and smugly fill up the empty seat after everything's blown up. Mm. All this is what Mion suggested. She didn't know a thing about Tokyo yet. She struck its core so hard even Tomoteka was shaken. Mion is, a great, is the greatest commander and strategist our club could ever have. Tomoteka folded his arms and started to lose his cool. I think he realizes that what I'm saying isn't mere nonsense. It's true that a big shot in Tokyo just passed away. He let the power of vacuum and there's a political struggle going on over it. Even the Aries Institute client, the Alphabet Project, is board of directors purged and reformed. So there's been talk of immediately shutting down the research in order to make an example of the Aries Institute since it was supported by the old faction. So if I die, the emergency manual is executed, the Aries Institute and the board of directors behind it, as well as the faction that supports them will be held responsible. Normally, the Hinamazawa syndrome and the other dangerous bombs associated with it are safe because only 
Tokyo knows about them, but when there's an enemy within Tokyo itself, Hinomusawa becomes a bomb that's all too easy to detonate. tonight. That is something you made up Ricochet, is a fabrication or is it the truth? I don't know, but if I think about what's going on in Tokyo, I guess it's possible for some people to think things like that. Tomotake, you're a good person. You're a very good person who believes in his close friends. So I know if I see these things that Tomotake, you'll never accept them. But I have to bring this up with First Lieutenant Tomotake, Auditor for the Iron Institute. You aren't saying, are you? That is Tokano san? Yes. Her request was denied as her was her own life. Not only that, she was denounced by the board of the directors, so she's very hurt. You should know that since you're always with her, Tomotake. Is there any chance of someone seeking to use that heartbreak to kind of approach to instigate it and turn to action? People who are hurt often don't open their hearts to whoever claimed them and understand them. Someone that like that might have approached the kind of as a start something that will lead to chaos in Tokyo. Tomotake insisted that Takano so would never do that. He repeated it a few more times, but then he fell silent again. Tomotake is an adult. He must have experienced some heartbreaking events himself. That's why you can understand that Takano is very hurt, and it's possible that someone's using her. I understand what you want to say, so I should be clear of some issues first before I could clearly trust Takano so and her. Tomotake, I'll get in touch with both Konogi Kun from the Mount Dogs in Tokyo office. There have been some suspicious reports regarding Takano san lately. The Mount Dog's specialty is counterintelligence, after all. No, the Mount Dogs are on Takano's side. What? what? This is someone who persuaded Takano. Of course, they'll have to get measures for the Mount Dogs as well. That is, um, is it impossible. The Mount Dogs are a special counterintelligence unit. Even if there was a collaborator in the Iron Institute, it would be very difficult so as long as they were attending to their duties. But if the Mountain Dogs themselves were, can that be, hmm, but, Tomotake, please look at the both the Kano and the Mountain Dogs, or he's on my side, but he doesn't know too much about Tokyo. That's true, I'm just a researcher, I know my position is just a formality for their convenience. That's why I can't clear every get some suspicions by myself. I didn't understand, I've been told there's a possibility that the Art Institute could have become rebellious. That's the reason why I'm here, I'll start investigating the Kano son and the Mountain Dogs right away. Thank you for believing me. This is the first time you actually have. I've been left away in many worlds, but Tomo took a falling lesson to me. He will be a very strong ally in the fight against the Kano, and also I'm grateful for my friends who prepared to talk to him. I got information on the current situation from Ari, had my friends analyze it, and because of that, I managed to get Tomo to listen. Just as Henry said, I couldn't have done anything if I kept thinking about it all alone. But after talking to my friends, things are already changing. Actually, I'm going to start. I'm going into hiding starting today. Meow's house of the secret basement. That's perfect for that. I haven't talked to Meow about it yet, but I think she'll understand my request now. So if you find anything, please get in touch with her. Starting today, please act like I've gone missing. Understood. I think that's safest to act like I usually do. So people don't grow suspicious. I'll be careful, of course. Dr. Ari, please act normal as well. But I'll always be on your guard. I understand. I'll be very cautious. Someone take it. Please be careful yourself. I have... I feel like you might be assassinated within a few days. This is the part that he never, never taken seriously. Please hear what I'm saying. Okay, I'll be extra careful. Thank you. When Toma took a turn around all of a sudden, Ari and I sensed an off from his behavior and grew tense. Then we heard some footsteps. We've been so careless. Did someone hear us over? To talk to the did the kind of appear people hear what we're saying? <laughs> I'll never forget that left as long as I live. Hello, hello, what an interesting group, Dr. Ari, Tom and son and Rico's son. I met to him and several quite up them. I never seen you three together before. Uh Hello, Arichi son, huh? It's today the meeting of the day for Watanagashi it's still so early. Ari tried to change the subject, but obviously Uchi had heard everything. Tomotake from Tokyo is okay, but it's too early for Oishi for the police department to get involved. Things are already complicated. Why does he have to show up now? Anyway, this isn't good. Well, when I went to your household, your son told me you were here, and I happened to run to your secret meeting. Sorry to bother you, though. <laughs> the air froze, leaving only silence. 
The way he always used to speak English, obviously, he's trying to sniff things out. I bet he only heard a part of our conversation, so he can't grasp exactly what we're talking about. That's why he's trying to make us confess the whole thing. Come now, don't look at me like that. I'm getting embarrassed. Well, I brought someone with me today. Someone in Rika's son would love to see you again. I wonder if you remember Rika's son, because if you don't, he might even start crying. <laughs> what? Who? I only can think of one person, but did he ever come here in June 1983? But who else would come visit me? Come on in. I wish you encourages a viral young man to enter. He looked a lot more mature than last time I saw him. Uh, uh, Kasaka, thank you for remembering me, Vika Chen. <laughs> you won't tell me to go back to Tokyo this time, will you? Uh, Kasaka, uh, Kasaka! I remember how you helped me, or rather maybe I forgot at some point, but I forgot about it completely. I would regret it, so I recall that he told me to call Yuki because I did. She avoided getting in an accident. He saved her life, and I'm here now out of gratitude. I feel like I've forgotten about it for a very long time, but now I finally remember. Sorry to make you wait for so long. That's right, you made me wait forever, and now you show up in this final world. You waited out until the very last minute. How dare you, Akasaka, Akasaka. I'm your ally no matter what. I'll believe everything you tell me, and I will defeat whoever's trying to kill you. Akasaka remembered some strange things as he talked to me. He remembered the side world where he lost his wife. Working on the kidnapping case in Himazawa, he forgot about me because of despair and only remembered her afterwards. He regretted not being able to do anything for me. The memory from a different world brought Akasaka here. Akasaka calls up something ally. That means a lot to me since I never thought I'd have any allies at all. I could only bury my face in Akasaka's chest and cry. I haven't seen anything. I don't know anything about you so having such a young wife here in Himazawa when you're back in Tokyo. Nope, nope, don't know a thing. Oh, is she, son? No, this isn't what you think. Akasaka, 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 Akasaka. Oh, I could play that couldn't defeat the clan all well, well, and you admonished me. She told me that we put our strength together, and I'll believe in the same thing. We could make a miracle happen. I didn't believe in her, but after all, I talked to Ari and my friends. I told them things were getting better and better, and now Akasaka is here, too. Was Akasaka supposed to be coming back, or is this a miracle? Miracles do occur. This man never helped me even once before, yet he might be my most dependable ally. Now it's back to now he's back and he's even telling me he's my ally no matter what. See, it happens. Miracles really do occur. You're right. We can make them happen if we keep putting our strength together. Do you think even more miracles will happen? Then do you think we can make a miracle happen and defeat the curse of 1983? Yes, because we could smash through Juno 1983 only by putting in one strength together. Hand you, he used to be just a bystander, is now persuading me. She used to admonish me for pretending to fight while I was two. Was actually just a sulky bystander. Are you okay, Kachin? Yeah, sorry about that. Seeing you brought back so many memories, I lost my cool. Meep. I went my tears and tried to hide my embarrassment. The Higurashi continued to cry. The Higurashi has been trying to remind me of something very important. I felt like they had taught me something very important. My eyes grew teary again. <laughs> I was surprised. I didn't know you had such a wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Mamoru. Uh, oh, Mamoru. Mamoru. Uh, Mamoru. How about Mamoru? I don't know. Agasaka. I work in case records room 7 of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department's Public Security Bureau. I went to case records rooms in Tokyo's Public Safety Bureau Secret Department on par with this CR, CRO? CRIO? I believe that's a tough secret investigation unit that somehow criticizes being secret police. No department would be foolish enough to stop secret into the name of the secret division. Real secret divisions are boring names meant to fool the average person. That's Chief Arkansas Department too. It's called a reference room, but they don't manage documents. They seem to know quite a lot about us. I didn't think it'd be someone who knows the true identity of the public safety department. Judging from the conversation you're having, I take it you have your own reasons for that. Well, <laughs> I'm into stuff like that. I just happen to know that's so. <laughs> all. I'm a good son. Why don't you reveal your identity? Hmm? I, for one, always figured you weren't just some traveling photographer. No, that's, that's the truth. I just like taking pictures. That's all. What a waste of time this conversation is. This is the final world after all. Tomateke is the one who's connecting us in Tokyo. But he's just my ally just to say. Rikachin. Tomateke and Ari yell simultaneously. <laughs> to them it's an extremely important secret. If someone were to find out they'd get eliminated by the mountain dogs. But it's okay now. There's no point of continuing to have suspicions and doubts. 
I've had enough of that. It's already suspicious. It's already obvious. Tom Matuka isn't telling the truth, and he's still trying to deny what I just said. You're a director, are you right? Thank you for taking care of me when I was injured five years ago. Five years ago. You really did a great job treating my wounds. Ah, uh, I remember now. No, don't mention it. I only did my job. The RE Clinic is also known as the RE Institute, right? Ah, uh, well, I mean, if we've gone down, Dr. RE, it's no use. We already heard it all earlier. You were saying that the RE Institute's clinic is the alphabet project, right? I don't need to hear it from you. I already know everything up until now. Recently, room service was investigating the man behind it and their means for fun money, vast sums of money. The alphabet project was one of their tunnels. I guess I was holding the top secret document he got in his hand a few days ago. This document records how um, certain people were given public funds from the ministries and government offices for assisting in various projects. These masterminds claim that they were attempting to revitalize Japan by using secret money and secret methods that was a lie even amongst themselves. And the masterminds of these projects were making an enormous profit off of them. And if that became public knowledge, Japan would shake it to the core and the government would be overthrown. That was just what they were told, and that was the reason why the investigation was discontinued. First of all, I want to tell you one thing. The investigation by Room 7 has been shut down, and they are no longer taking the case, working on the case. So I'm simply telling you what I found out in the course of investigation. I'm on vacation here in Himozawa right now. I just want to let you know that. Tell me the kid's trying to hide his identity, but Ari isn't. He must have made up his mind since Akka already knows about the Alphabet Project. We already know that they've been using the tunnels to move vast sums of money to research institute in Shishabon, known as the Ari Institute. Also, the Ari Institute has a different name here, and then parentheses the Ari Clinic. It's also a list that the head of the Ari Institute is Lieutenant Colonel from the SDF, uh, Kyosuke Ari. I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel, Doctor, are you in the SDF? No, 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 no I'm not. I told him to kiss on but don't, let me tell him. Putting our clients aside, we aren't doing anything shitty. Let's not hide anything. It'll only make Oishi more suspicious. I mean, he is right. Oishi will help us. I'm sort of feel like even Oishi could be our LA. That would be incredible. And I'm going to take a few minute break here, guys. I need to catch my breath again. Alright, as soon as I get back, I, oh, I hit the stop recording button and now it's going to take forever to upload. <laughs> uh, for you guys who don't know, I, I, I have this program where I accidentally do that. I sometimes, because I have the pause and stop recording buttons next to each other. And sometimes instead of rec zooming recording or instead of pausing, sometimes I accidentally stop recording. And then the program I use... Uh, it takes forever to, to render the videos together. Uh, I mean, that's okay. I still got a ton of stuff to do on my computer to do in the meantime. Still. Ugh. So I'm like, I finally gave it and admitted everything. In this place, I explained to him the existence of the Hinamisawa Syndrome, the Ari Clinic that was established to research it. What's special about myself and finally about the invisible conspiracy that revolves around it? Oh, she was very surprised to hear about all this, but because uh, like I told him to calm down, so he listened quietly. Since Akasaka belongs to a special unit, he wasn't too surprised. He kept nodding and saying that it's all very possible. This is very, this is working out great for me. This is just as you say, Rico Chen, there's a good chance that there are some people who are playing something like that. I wish you saw what they're saying as well within the realm of possibility. Poss um, the possible, okay, possibility, whatever. This is for like the plot of a novel. Mm, that's true. Hmm. Compared to Akasaka, who had a flexible mind, or she's having a hard time understanding such unrealistic stories, he'll probably need at least three cigarettes before he can digest what he just heard. Uh, I think Takano is suspicious, but there's no proof. I was just asking him to investigate so that I could confirm my suspicions. Oh, she said, Can you arrest and detain Takano on a separate charge? Mm, I may lose my retirement money for that, but it could be done, I guess. There are some counterintelligence members for the amount of dubs at the police station. Even if he tried it, we should send there'll be pressure from within the department. I'll conduct an investigation on Takano Sun, so if possible, can you leave it to me? I don't want anyone to get suspicious. 
You're right. If the Garden's investigation can only be done by Tom of the Crusades Institute, then the police shouldn't bother him. Besides, I have a feeling that this thing is not bigger than we think. At least you son. I don't mean to sound rude, but you son. Maybe you should stay out of this. Akasuk, okay, so, son, what do you mean by that? Just like you told me earlier, you're returning this year, right? You've worked hard for many years. You're about to collect your pension. Money is important. You'll need it to pay off your health and you need money for life after retirement. But this hill's too dangerous to climb. My instincts are telling me that at the end of it, this case will be classified as if it didn't take place at all. In other words, unless I'm prepared to lose everything, I've had to pull myself out of this, right? That's what you're telling me, isn't it? Yes, I know I'm not in a position to tell you that, but I've been involved in cases that are too, or that are much different from regular police work, so what I'm saying now comes from experience. Well, she was no fool. He was also an adult and smart in the real sense. If he only listened to his pride, he would yell out Akasuka for insulting him, but what Akasuka's saying is true. Oishi's pension is a big deal for him. People live far beyond their retirement. They still have 10 or even 20 years left after that. Their pension is the basis for that second life. A pension isn't ordinary money. It's very, very valuable. People receive their pension for working hard on rainy days and windy days and even during the moments when their bosses give them a hard time. Even though he's just mumbled on occasion that he's going to quit and look for a new job. Yet he endured and quietly did the unreasonable work asked of him. He's endured far more work than his salary. Married. He's worked like that for a very long time and now he's finally about to retire. He's finally about to collect his long with a pension. It's not about the money itself. It's about having a value placed on what you've done with your life. So if one were to cause a scandal, the punishment for that would be placed on his pension. One such deplorable event can erase Uichi's entire life as a policeman. And that's not something that can be treated lightly. Akasaka is still young, and if he loses his job, he'll be able to find a new one. But Uichi is too old. The repayment of his mortgage was planned around his pension. Uichi is a grown-up grown-up, and that's why he can't do anything reckless. Akasaka knows that, and that's why he's said that Uichi should back down. Uichi understands it too, so Akasaka has done ask him that tough question in order to find out how strong Wishy's commitment was. I've been awfully slow paying back my loan, all because I wanted to hold on to some spending money. Even though I would have saved on interest if I just paid a little bit more early on, but I just wanted to gamble and drink. If I lived my life so I didn't have to depend on my pension in my old age, I could jump right onto this case. Wishy's fists were trembling, and so he sheds his tears, but... But I'm an officer until the moment I retire. Not even that doesn't matter. I promise in front of its grave. I promise that all men died. Find out who killed them. I promise to stand a police officer until I've arrested his murderer. In other words, me being a police officer isn't the issue here. What matters is I, I kept my officer's spirit until I find that murderer, even if I'm fired. But I, I, am I afraid to be fired? Am I afraid to lose my pension? Yes, I am. And who are my plans for the future? I need a lot of money for that. My dream is to have a leisurely life in Hokkaido, work on the vegetable garden, and have fun in Shikino. And take up the ballroom dancing lessons. But why am I afraid? Is my officer's spirit so weak as all that? I've dreamt of uncovering the truth behind the series of mysteries. It doesn't mean what's all in the door into that truth I've thought for so long. It's right here in front of me. Damn it. God damn it. Why can't I just throw my badge? Why can't I just stop caring about what the police think? Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. Nobody could say anything in response to what she how he's a crossword cross crossroads, not cross crosswords, crossroads. The crossroads of a person who has worked so hard and humbly for so long. How could the young people who know nothing about what he's had to go through say anything at all? You are a friend of the the part of construction site manager, right? Yes, he was a friend, a brother, father to me. Although so for only formality I'm the director of the Area Institute, the conspiracy that surrounds your kitchen is exposed. I will be the one who takes the blame. Is it that right, Tomatakai son? His position exists for exactly that purpose. The, the Institute as a whole, Ari, is there to simply to cover for Takano's research. Tomatakai, of course, knows about that, and even Ari has to start, start to realize it. Even if Ari hadn't done anything wrong, he would be have to take the blame as the person in charge of the Institute. That was how every organiza organization purges itself by forcing someone to take the blame and reshuffling members. That's why the leaders get more money. When it's all over, I will tell you everything about this series of mysterious deaths. I actually have an obligation to remain silent for the rest of my life. But you'll let me tell him, won't you, Tomotaki-san? <laughs> 
I didn't hear anything. I saw an honest man tell me that I couldn't say yes, so I pretended to ignore it was the best he could do. No, no, uh, that's not right. You could tell the brave uh, Kurodo Oishi about it. The one who found the curse to help you. The cowardly Kurodo Oishi, the one who didn't want to lose his pension, doesn't deserve to hear the truth. He faced a dilemma, even though the truth behind him is just this. He thought so hard what's right in front of him, he couldn't just accept it with his head held high. To understand what he's going through, one would have to live through the life he did. His dilemma is that very vast and very heavy. You know, people couldn't possibly understand. Can I have some time to think about this? I really do want to find the truth to put you behind bars. I just need some time to gather my courage. Could you grant me that? Why is he being asking? Nobody here will force him to make his mind, of course. I won't either. How will always just need someone's approval? Always she's still passionate about his work as a police officer. Yeah, he isn't brave enough to take on this case. He wants somebody to forgive him for that. But nobody can do that. Nobody can stop Oishi from crying. Yes, I will get any of that time. Henny, how long has she been here? Henny was arrived. I didn't see her come in, but then again, she's always around. And you is the guardian deity of Hinnom Zoe, after all. I'll grant you some time to make your decision. You'll be honest. You've been honest. And you've been tough on yourself until today. Your life is not to be taken lightly. And that's why you're having such a hard time deciding. One should never be proud of careless decisions or brute courage. A careful judgment made by a person who has lived a worthy life like you, that's what's worth being proud of. She might sound arrogant to us, but that was exactly what we needed to hear. Right, who among us has the right to admonish Oishi, the eldest one here? No one, no one should be able to, nobody but one. The one who has been protecting humans for a thousand years, and you. No matter if you decide calmly or courageously, I will praise you, as long as your decision was made well. I've never met you before, but thank you, uh, it makes me feel better. Thank you for giving me a coward. You give me a coward like me at the time of day. If it was me, I would have asked Wishy to be my ally and ask him for help, but that wouldn't have reached your start. Wanting to help is my selfish request. I didn't know anything about the life you lived, and that's why my words wouldn't reach him. But Hanyu's words did. Hanyu has never told me this, but I could tell she's been watching Wishy since the day he was born. She's been watching all that way he went through. That's why she can say that, and that's why she could reach him. Only Hanyu can do that. Dr. Uri, there's only one thing. Please tell me one thing. Sure. Ask me anything. I have long suspected that the son of Zaki from this blend of dreams in the old man's murder case, and am I right to think that? No, you're not. You're wrong. We can explain everything. But the series of mysterious deaths in Hinomasawa. I see. Hoishi pretended to scratch his head. For so long, he persuaded the case that he with that belief, yet someone deeply involved was telling him he'd missed the mark, so he must be feeling at least some frustration. What well, I already said it wouldn't be enough, so I would have to continue. We should know the curses of the Oya son saw my village were done in secret by the villagers. The Sanazaki family, the three families, and the other villagers, none of them were involved. There were only misunderstandings, misinterpretations, coincidences, tragedies, and comedies. The real identity of the curse of Oya saw is simply a series of misinterpretations. It only looks like the villagers are acting in the secret. And so all the information I've gathered so far about the Sanazaki family is worthless. <laughs> The heads of the Sanazaki family have a secret pre precept. They must always act as if they commend in natural disasters. The Sanazaki, the Sanazaki family knows nothing. Moreover, they are even afraid of the incidents that occur every year. But in order to maintain their dignity, they act as though they're the ones behind everything. Oh my goodness, I see. It all makes sense now. <laughs> if that's true, then that you woman, damn it, she serves some myth that said some things to mislead me. <laughs> You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's written in the Friday's Family Secret Scrolls, too. You want to see? <laughs> I have no idea what she thinks is so funny. Nobody here could tell what's going through Wishy's mind, except for the girl who's watched over human beings for over a thousand years. I can understand why you're so happy. What? What do you mean? The fact that you don't have to hate anyone anymore is a very, very welcome concept. Uh -huh, no, the Sanazaki family is still a vital organization with its claws all over Shishibone City. That doesn't change. I've been stabbed by one of them before, you know. They may not be responsible for the mysteries of this, but they are still my enemies. That's all still true, but I just feel happy. <laughs> None of us could tell what if Henry was saying is right. Would she believe the Sanazaki family was behind it all? No, that he's learned that they're not. I'm sure he's felt like everything stands for has been made meaningless. But if Henry says that's not the case because uh, to hate someone because... Ah, that's like everything. But if Hayden says that's not the case, to hate someone must not must be such a painful thing. I can't explain why she's laughed, or all I can do is speculate. I 
Or she left with a cigarette in his mouth saying that he wanted to cool off a little. We won't get anywhere until we know if the Cardinal son is guilty or not, so we won't be able to act until after we hear the report from Tomateke's son. I don't know why Rick is so, trying so suspicious of the Cardinal son personally. I feel bad for her, but what she said makes sense too. Rick is trying to an important person, and we can't let anyone suspicious get near her. Tomateke is making it sound like he's grown, going to prove the Cardinal's innocence. I guess I can't blame him since he's in love with her. To be honest, I'm almost so hoping that Tomateke Takano isn't guilty. Takano understands me. She was one of my allies. I had a friendship with her. I trusted her for over a hundred years. But Hanyu says that Takano is guilty. And so then pops out when we poke her. The question is, well, well, Tomataka can catch it. To, people, to get people to help me, I had to find proof of Takano's guilt. So I have to trust Tomataka for now. Tomataka, some please be very careful. She is guilty and you'll be in danger too. I understand I'll move to a new hotel without letting the institute know. I should probably leave him the immediately, but if the Cardinal's son is guilty, it will backfire. That's pretty tough, yes. Yeah, the Cardinal will act normally during a secret investigation. Would you prefer to stay with me? No, that's alright. It's fine. I'll be very careful. But Rika shouldn't take this priority here. What should we do? What should we do, Henry? What should we do? Using chess as an example, you're lucky enough to protect the key, and as soon as the Cardinal gets a hold of you, the game is over. One of the most important rules in chess is to guard the king first, right? Yes, the whose day is Thursday. What time of is in three days? You need to hide somewhere and nobody can find you until at least then. Any idea where? I think you should ask me on. That's true. The Sons of family's underground storehouse will be an ideal place to hide. Satoko should go with you too. I, I leave Satoko behind. I'll question about her whereabouts. Or my whereabouts, whatever. She may be in danger too, so that means I'll have to tell the truth that Lisa took on me on. Uh, the comic plot we discussed was it just as fiction. Still, I have always seen the unestimate the reliability. It always is really beyond my imagination. I need to talk to them. I have a feeling they'll believe me. And they're my steadfast allies after all. Why not be hiding for a while? There's a perfect place for that in the unsouths. Will you really be safe there? He has a second air raid shelter. He has everything we need. We can easily stay there for about a month. The Sonazaki family's underground storehouse actually has every basic necessity in case someone actually had to live there due to some complication or another. Neon hasn't mentioned it before. That's like a unique vacation house. I don't know how you can call places a torture room a vacation house, though. I don't know how long my investigation to the Gunner's son will take, but as soon as I find out something, I'll call Neon Chen's so Is that okay? That works fine. To tell you the truth, them hot dogs have a bug on Rika Chen's home from for security for reasons, so that works better either way. Meep, so somebody has been listening to all my personal conversations. No, no, except so they can tune in, but that doesn't mean they're listening to every normal conversation. They only do it when they have a security drill that happens a few times a year. I bet my phone at the clinic is being wiretapped too, huh? Well, yes, that's because of the purpose of the facility, though. Please understand. Excuse me, how do they actually do that? We can change the lines. The branch is off. Do you remember that little shack behind the shrine? The line leads into there, which is where they wiretap it. Usually there's no one there, but once the mountain dogs receive orders to guard her, there'll be two agents recording conversations in there all the time. Of course, they don't usually record anything. Is there a security drill scheduled in the near future, or maybe in orders to guard her? Security drills take place in January, April, July, and October. So there's no drill this month. Orders to guard are only given when they anticipate an emergency, but they still haven't been given any even once since the Institute was established. Who gives those orders? The director does, which is me, but Takano san is a surrogate director, so she can send out orders too. If Takano is really the person who wants to kill Rika Chen, then she'll use them hunting dogs to spy on her. <coughs> Uh, and they did not expect that to happen. <sighs> in other words, if people start to go in and out of that shack, it means that the Cardinals made a move, so we could. Th that's proof that tensions are building around Rika Chen, right? I don't know if that would prove that the Cardinals is behind it, but we could take it as a sign that danger is approaching. Indeed, regardless of whether the Cardinals is guilty or not, that's what it means. As long as we keep our eyes on the shack, Rika Chen will stay safe and secure. It's a great idea. But there's one problem, Rika. If there are no lights on the house at night, it'll be obvious to everyone that there's nobody home. The Cardinal doesn't even have to wiretap your phone as soon as she sees the house. She'll really just get in school and ran away. You're right. And that puts Tom with that guy who's investigating the Cardinal in a tight spot. We'll have to take this thing to counteract that. 
So our dilemma was having to observe the wire fucking shack, like I guess I'm gonna say in earlier. And then there's a problem with having to keep the lights on at your house. It's a fact that it's better for us because I'm gonna stay in the village. If we all three together and mix them up, I get. Oh, oh. I have an idea. Oh no, you aren't thinking about laying out because I'm gonna stay at my house, are you? No, 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 absolutely not. My house is such a mess. It's nothing. It's filthy. I can't let Akasaka like, stay in there. No, no. <laughs> oh, Akasaka like, staying over. Oh. <laughs> I said no, 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 no. Why are you so, you're such a fuss with Chen? Me? I lost the cool there for a moment. Nipa? Jeez, it's just because Henry's assisting, okay? Oh, well. It's true that if Ricochet's house ends up empty, there won't be any lights on that night, and leaving them on would be more suspicious. Uh, I'm gonna suck a, uh, me, what do you think, stay in my house while I'm gone? I see, that's a great idea. As long as it's okay with you, Ricochet, let's do that. I'm gonna suck a seems to think it's a pretty good idea. Am I selfish wanting them to get a little embarrassed about letting them stay at my house? I should be ashamed of myself. Oh. And in his set, Tomatika is going to start is going to get in touch with colleagues at Tokyo and start an investigation of Takano. That's all. That's all we can do from our end. Or he's going to lead his normal life to act normally after something like this will be pretty difficult. But there really isn't anything else I'm going to do right now. Takano is sly. She'll never let Ari ruin her plans. Actually, Ari only comes to the picture after Takano's been exposed. Well, she didn't say he would help us, but he said he would in, wouldn't interfere with us. In fact, there are some people with ties to the mountain dogs at the police department, too. It's probably best if she acts normally like Ari is. I'm going to tell Satoko the truth and hide out me ourselves for a while starting today. I don't know how long I'll have to hide, but it'll be at least until something happens. I guess I was going to stay at my house and make it look like I'm homesick. If something happens, coming all the way from Okonomiya would take too long and it feels much better than I'm staying in the village. Everything will begin once Tomataka finds out something. Ari says he hopes that things will get moving soon, but I don't think we need to worry about that. They will try to kill Tomataka on the night of Tanagashi on Sunday, two days from today. And that's never changed in many, many worlds, so that's definitely their plan. In other words, even Tomataka doesn't find anything. The wheels will start turning in two days. And to warn Tomataka, you're going to be extremely careful, but still, if I still get killed, I'll curse your family for some generations after I die. It's already getting dark. Everyone went home for it except for Akasaka. I'm still thinking about how to tell Shotoko and Akasaka and so what's to come. Worrying about it won't solve anything. We could give a bad habit of underestimating your friends. But how could she believe what she, we talked about at school today was actually real? How could she believe me when I told her that her life is in danger? In addition, I'm bringing home this guy she's never met before. I think Satoko will believe you. I don't know, but it's possible that she won't. Uh, so Satoko, your friend, is she? What? What thing you just said startled me. It was what kind of scary thing to hear, even though she said it while wearing her your warm smile. I know Satoko is one of us. I think she still... She'll believe you and become your ally against the Kano, but you're saying you can't trust her. It's like you're saying Satoko isn't your friend. If she isn't your friend, then why waste your time telling her about it? Now I will. Let's just leave Satoko behind and go to Mia's house by ourselves, just the two of us. What are you saying? That's nonsense. Satoko is my best friend, and if you don't think it's worth telling her the truth, then that's it. You just think a best friend is like a stray cat you feed every day. I'm actually surprised that you've been letting Satoko live with you when you think of her like that. I didn't say that, so talk with my best friend, my very best. Yeah, she's even closer to me than you are. But you don't believe she will believe if it's the same with spawning your complaints as a straight cat that you feed every day. You know, the cat can do anything, and knowing that you will still complain to her and that she, all your relationship is. Uh, but poor, poor Satoko, she believes you're, you're her best friend, but you don't feel the same way. Oh, damn you. I tried to slap her hand, but I couldn't touch her. My hand went through her cheek and only hit air. I still can't believe she met herself in corporal again. And you disappear saying that in a teasing manner. I'm upsetting. I mean, I'm upset, but I can totally understand what she was getting at. Your roommate agree? I'll make her agree. Satoko has nothing to do with this conspiracy, but once she lives with me, she's going to end up involved anyway. For Satoko's sake, I, explain, I have to explain this to her. Should I wait outside? No, I think it'll be better to have you with us so she doesn't think it's a joke. If I can't explain it properly, can you help? Sure, I will. I went up to the second floor of Akasaka. To be honest, I couldn't even imagine how to start bringing it up. But even Henry made fun of me. I can't hesitate. I made up my mind on walking into the room and was surprised. My master room is all cleaned up. Satoko is picking her pajamas and towels into her duffel bag. Is that she's going on the camping trip? Satoko, I'm home. 
Here, I got your luggage ready too. We can't just borrow toothbrushes or tell from me else on you now. Besides, we can't let some strange man stay in the messing room either. This is why I always tell you to tidy things up around here. I'm linked in surprise. I don't understand what Satoku or why Satoku already knows what's going on. If she saw me, Ari and Tomotaku talking behind the shrine, the way she is a strange man, she'd be sure to get curious. Satoku must have overheard our conversation. Not only that, she packed her luggage and cleaned our room, which means she already knows Fuck Satoku has been staying in the house. She must have come home in a hurry to get things done. So is this just a story of for the some comic, was it? Meep. You know that's what I don't like about you, Rika. Have I ever doubted you before? I always thought I was your best friend. What would you count on me before anything? That, before, like, that you could count on me before anyone else? I'm sorry. So the girl doesn't seem that angry. Whether she seems so shocked that we talked about school is real and she isn't really that upset. Well, this is exactly what Henry said. I thought Satoko was my best friend here. I couldn't trust her completely. I haven't realized this, I apologized. Satoko turned around with her telling me there's no time for apologies. I think she accepted it. There's proof of that. She's getting ready. Things ready to go to me on sales. Thank you, Satoko. Um, I got Satoko saying this. I don't know how you and Mikisha know each other, but if you're really Rika's ally, then you're mine too. You may call me Satoko Joe. Nice to meet you. I'm Akasaka. The conspiracy surrounding Rika Chen's parents is pretty deep, and it's not easy to explain. She was afraid you would reject her after she confessed to everyone, so she, please don't understand how she felt, too. Of course, I understand her because best friend you know she's sticking that and believe her. Who would? I can understand why she'd be so afraid. You're really mature, Satoko Chen. Rika Chen's lucky to have you as a best friend. I'm pretty envious of her. Satoko took Akasaka around the house and explained everything. She let him know that the switch for her hot water heater sticks a little, and if that's a picture on the TV gets messed up, he needs to tap on it. She even told him about all the traps she set around the shrine using the secret map of hers. Okay, so I listen to her dad seriously. Upon seeking that talk, I couldn't help but smile a little. And he also smiled while watching us, but it felt like she was saying, I told you so. I'm going to pretend I don't notice her if I'm going to hurry and Satoko believe me this easily. And then our simple mind me, I will believe us even more easily. Kichi doesn't even know about, doesn't know how to tell people and Rina has sharp instincts which will believe me too. So everyone is going to believe me, huh? Henry didn't reply, but she smiled as she was happy to see that I grew a little. Alright, there's plenty of things in the refrigerator. Rika, you're asking if the house is safe. So why don't you make dinner for him tonight? We said just to be safe. Perhaps we should go over to me on house a little later. Oh, don't worry. I can handle that myself. Oh, well, this is Rika's chance to serve him your homemade food, Rika. You really are annoying today. All right, Satoko, we have to make something good, huh? I have an idea. Can you bring out the large community bottle from the refrigerator? No, not that one. The one that says death penalty. Not the one that says punishment. Let's make Kimichi fried rice today. Akasuka, do you like spicy food? Oh, yes. I love spicy things. Oh, uh, uh, the cream puffs in the refrigerator have expired, so let's throw them away. Oh, uh, what a waste. I heard they're from a f famous shop over in, Go in Gogura. Uh, 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 those are awfully loud today. Maybe a stray dog howling somewhere. Night is falling on the 16th of June. The pieces are running up on the final game board for one after another. No, pieces is the right word to call them. Night is falling on the 16th of June. We're gathering or gaining. Reliable allies for this final challenge. Our first key, Tomotake, will be killed in three days. Fate is going to change before that point. Alright. No new tips again? Uh, and maybe the tips are like it's very end or something. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.